When you're cooling off with a tall glass of water, we here at Loveland Water & Power know you're probably not thinking about how great it is that fresh, clean water is readily and reliably available. And when you're fixing a nutritious snack, we know it's not likely you're mulling over how healthy our water is. And when you're starting your day, we doubt it crosses your mind that our water is safe and actually much cleaner than government regulations require. Nope. We know that even when you're using water, you're not thinking about water, and that's okay, because that's our job. And we want to show you the plant expansion project we just finished at our water treatment facility, a project that will provide safe, healthy water for years to come. This project is the City of Loveland's water treatment plant expansion project. This took our existing system, which was at 30 million gallons a day, and it increased the capacity to 38 million gallons a day of treated water. The future development of this particular uh, treatment facility is 46 million gallons a day. So there's certain components that we built to the 38 million gallons a day capacity, and certain things that we built to the 46 million gallon capacity. The project looked at all of the equipment that's being used to produce or manufacture water the age of the equipment we have, the condition of that equipment. If it's not ready to be replaced, we didn't replace it. However, there were certain components that had literally reached their useful life and could no longer be worked on. We couldn't get replacement parts. We built in a lot of things with this project. We built in resiliency, we built in safety. Um, obviously, we had to build in capacity. That was the driving force of it. Most of the infrastructure that we put in place here is gonna last 50, maybe 100 years. The real changes came on the chemical delivery side. We now have state-of-the-art chemical delivery systems for all of the chemicals that we add to the water during the treatment process. While we do have very clean source water, there's still quite a bit that needs to be removed before it's safe for drinking. And here at the water treatment plant, we use various chemical and physical processes to remove contaminants. Before this project happened, whenever the water demand in town changed, they would have to walk out and touch every single pump they would have to calculate pump settings by hand. We're now able to control the flows of the water treatment plant with the computer. Now they're able to go to the computer, put in a new flow, and that's it, it's done. The computers automatically calculate the new dosage for all the chemicals, and we monitor those dosages to ensure that everything is correct. These are the pumps for the aluminum sulfate or alum. This is used in the coagulant process. We always have to be adding this particular chemical in the process of making water. What we've done is we've automated the valves on this. We have flow meters as well as actuators on all of these, so we know that the chemical is flowing. We know the rate that it's flowing at and what it's being used for, as well as we have redundant pumps. If this pump were to uh, fail for some reason, it will automatically roll to the next pump. These tanks are for sodium hypochloride. This is our disinfection for our water. There is a process that you can make sodium hypochlorite. Um, today, it's cheaper to buy it in bulk. In the future, we may perform that as an on-site generation process. This is a new facility. This is uh, 8 million gallons of treated water that we'll provide to this facility. One of the engineering designs that we did in here was to try to let as much ambient light or free light into the facility that we can. We have translucent panels as well as solar tubes. So this is just one of the design criteria that we placed in all the facilities that we put out here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights so you can just see how bright this is still. Most of the time this is how this facility will be illuminated, having the, uh, the lights off and the solar lights on. So we're in the basement or the pipe gallery of the filter plant 2. Um, this facility has had multiple upgrades done over the years, but when we looked at designing our new facility, it was really important the accessibility for both the operators as well as the maintenance staff. You can see they have to get down and get underneath, and these are things that get calibrated on a daily basis. So in contrast, what you saw in filter plant two is we've designed all of our equipment at a workable height. It's once again a safety component as well, it's just easier to work on and be around. This facility here is called the Meadows Sample Station. Inside that building is two sample pumps. They measure two different parameters, our uh, chlorine residual as well as our turbidity. This is our point of compliance. Right around the corner is our first customer. 
this project is now coming to a close. Um, they've been working on it for two years. Um, the project has stayed in budget for $24 million, which is a feat in itself. This is a real big success. We had a great team to work with, the contractors, the engineers, design, and uh, hopefully all of our customers appreciate the clean water that we deliver to town. Um, I think it's the best. Um, I hope you do too. So you see, it's okay. Don't think about it. Just use and enjoy our fresh, clean water. And know that when it comes to getting the healthy water we all need, today and well into the future, we got your back.